Well, for those of you that are blessed living uh, up north and stuff in hospitable climates, this ain't one of them. This is what my garden looks like after a week of on and off rain. Uh, I tell you, if you give it a year, you'll never be able to tell there was a garden back here. So, guess what today is? Clean up the garden day. But, on the flip side, I don't know if you can see it, but, uh, holy cow, look at the squash plants. Ah, look at that. Ah. I like them little yellow flowers that come up on there. It's really cool. Anyhow, wow, look at the squash climbing up there on that fence. Ain't that cool. Anyhow, the wife woke up the youngins. I need to go start firing up weed whackers and power tools and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, of course, uh, I'm gonna finish my cup of coffee first. <laughs> I'll show you what it looked like afterwards. Well, first spool's done. First spool is done. I got a spare. I shall put this one on. I usually load up two of them when I know I'm gonna have to do a lot of work. Ah, uh, because it's a dang jungle. Anyhow, take me a quick water break. All right. Uh, there's one of the youngins. I found a shovel. You found a shovel? Where? It's my, one of the mini ones. Oh, okay, yeah. And then this here's been weed whacked. Then we just got to go through with the stirrup hose. Hello, mamacita. Uh, that one... This one right here. And this one here. I've done the weed whacking her through. I have to be real careful with the weed whackers. I don't want to cut down the tomato plants. So I get as close as I can. And then the youngins and uh, the wife come back in and clean the mess up. <laughs> All right, let me go finish my water break and uh, fixing that gizmo. And uh, I'll get back at it. Hi. Hello. I hose myself off a little bit and do some dirt on me so I look like guys are supervising. Yeah. You're supervising, you know, once you reach 50, what am I, 51? 61. Huh? 61. 61. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you need a go old goat. Uh, old goat is what they say. Um... Um, oh my gosh, I forget how terrible it is in this weather. All this just to give the food away. Don't seem right. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. It's okay. Really, no, it's good. It's just this great, satisfying thing. Oh, it is. You, it's you, I can't. Good, yes. You know, I tell you what. As a kid, you love to receive gifts. Yeah. Right? At Christmas and stuff like that. But you, I think what parenting does, it gives you this moment of unselfish, where what? you can be completely unselfish. Uh, and yeah. and there's like, I, I don't know about other parents, but uh, giving your kids, it's got to be up there. You know, giving, it's, the feeling of giving is just up there's there. A, there's a lot of need in this town. And yeah. not many people helping in this town, you know? So... Yeah, it's uh, God saw fit to give us this here hunk of land, right? Yeah. Of course, it was like, uh, it was totally a forest. If you look over there at that tree line, the entire yard was just about like that when we bought it. It was something to clean it. I never thought I'd get her done. I had a lot of help from my boys, and even my neighbor helped a lot, right? Yeah. But, You're taking oh. a break. Ah, you should have got a chair, my dear. Charlie's weeding. It's way too late for that. Ah. Sorry. Yeah. I'm not walking all the way back over there. You want to hey. sit on my chair? I'll let you sit on my chair. That's fine. 
I'll let you sit on my knee. No. Uh, there's a bucket over here you can grab, flip it over, and sit on it. Okay. She's a lady. That's uncomfortable. Well, yeah. I, uh, just up this part right here is what I need you guys to weed. This, this right here, okay? Uh, this back here is really, uh, I don't think I'm going down to center rows. I'll go around the edge of it the best I can. Uh, yeah, but in between the, the squash is like taking over, so. Yeah, that squash is going to kill that grass here now. Oh, in yeah. Or so. Oh, yeah, that squash is Look just. Look at the squash back there on the back fence. I saw that this morning. Isn't that Look great? Look at that climbing. Uh huh. The real reason I decided to take a break was because I saw a wasp. So I'm giving the wasp time to leave. You're giving it a space? I don't blame you. I don't like I wasp either. Time, I killed it. You didn't believe me. Oh, of course not. You see a butterfly, you scream. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, too. Okay, that's mainly because they catch me off guard. Ah. That's funny. Well, you, do, you see a ball of orange oh, and breeze, black that felt nice. flying into your face. Would you do not scream? Yeah, I would uh, scream, too. Yeah. Anyways, we're getting it done. Uh, Slowly but surely, it's it's humid it's not really that hot it's not that hot yet um see when we did the property i probably told you all this before i left all the trees over here to the east uh because my boy scout training which i wasn't i was in the service but anyway sun rises in the east sets in the west so i've got these great big beautiful pine trees here because we live behind the pine curtain and i left those there on purpose so uh yeah so like this is what like it's almost 8 30 i think it's yeah 8 30 9 o'clock right you now. if you if that would be it see how that sun is hitting right there we'd be done yeah it'd be done it'd be we'd too be hot done. out here it'd be too hot out but here. as it is we got till about 11 11 30 and then uh you're done hard work and i can ride the mower around that's why i'm doing this first but yeah anything hard you're done with yeah, yeah. Once that sun comes over, it's like this. Yeah, it's like, okay. All right. Wait, I'm going to go finish my pep tomatoes. My wash rag is soaking wet. I don't understand it. I know. You're pretending to work. Yes. It's dear. lovely. Yep. Well, I got to get back to I work. I got to get back to it, too. Say ta-ta for now. Ta-ta for now, folks. Well, huh, one of the neighbors out there on the tractor. Ah, back here. This will eventually be more beds. Uh, probably back here, I'm gonna cut this tree down, get that stump out of there. I will get that uh, clump of trees right there out. And then the beds will come back to about where that tree line is. But anyhow, this is uh, what she's looking like for now. This is uh, tater bed as you can probably tell that one is like i don't know about 60 maybe 65 feet long i got double rows just over here squash we always grow to squash first because when it gets really hot they don't like it and the bug pressure but as you can see i've uh, trimmed up everything that i dare the wife was out here and the kids were out here weeding all right then over here those are squash too. Those will get really, they're, they're like prehistoric looking. They're long, swivelly looking things. They're great. Got most of the lawn mowed. Got a little trim to do tomorrow. I think there's five beds here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And these are like 35 feet. Then this bed, I've got five more beds here. Same thing, more squash. And these are 30 feet. Then over there is where we're making our compost. Right here, well, this is where I talk to God most days. It's a beautiful spot. I got the trees up here. <laughs> really good for meditating, so to speak. Ah, and we got four beds here. These are all green beans. I think she planted some more squash and peppers over there. Then uh, 
right here these beds are about 15 feet and uh, there's three of them more potatoes right here there's three beds these are 15 feet uh, peppers here uh, more potatoes here really cool huh and then we've got over here on the trellises you've got 15 feet worth of bed right there three of them uh, tomatoes same thing here more tomatoes over there that one's only two tomatoes uh, that one's uh 20 feet as you can tell by the hog panels and over here we got 20 feet three rows of uh tomatoes or not tomatoes sorry potatoes uh got some trimming like i said to do this but that's how quick things get just tor terrible here in east texas i mean if you leave your yard or your garden alone for say two years uh, you wouldn't even know it was a garden anymore as you can see did all that not bad huh over here i'll trim this up in the morning had to get my air compressor up because like usual john deere you know flat tires strawberries right and up here do a little trimming up here there's her uh this one right here is a smoothie bed she do them smoothies right and uh <laughs> lawn across the street my neighbor yep and more onions now there's this one i noticed right here look at this look at how long this onion is is that crazy or what huh but uh we're getting pretty close on these well all right out there uh, seems to be about it uh wore the children out there in the house uh, probably about uh well my sons are gone so i don't know maybe 11 o'clock or so 10 30 11 who knows okay that's it for today folks bye bye i think wait a minute oh there it is look at this looks like i get fed breakfast well that's it for today i got a lot more to do but it looks really good i think uh you know yeah. we worked the children aired them out uh their bones creak when they move but hey whatever <laughs> well you know what during the winter uh, I, I don't want to go outside it's too cold yeah, but for all you fellas out there, you should get yourself one of these garden gnomes. <laughs> uh, say ta-ta for now, Mom. Ta-ta for now. <laughs> <laughs>